boys and girls. Welcome back to another quick installment of Julian's Random Projects. I'm going to try and get this done in one take. <laughs> you read it right. We've been doing it wrong the whole time, <laughs> or at least I have. I mean, maybe, maybe it was my excitement about the, the mesh-tastic stuff and Laura and, you know, nodes and, and building all this stuff out and meeting guys in Austin and they're setting up their stuff and I'm like I want I want to I want to play these reindeer games let's go um and I just saw that everyone was buying and utilizing 915 megahertz both you know, antennas and that was the ISM band that we're all playing in so I just said great let me get antennas that are 915. I even started tuning stuff. You might have seen in some previous uh, YouTube video about this. I'm tuning antennas for 915. I was very proud of myself. I was like dead nuts on. I got this uh, deep V here uh, at 915 megahertz. And then I just happened to be on Austin Mesh's uh, website and looking through some of the documentation for the mesh tastic the mesh tastic project and i noticed that in the states at least and i'll try to um put a screenshot in here for some of the other other countries uh for their respective uh, bands that they're using the default the channel default that everyone's using for mesh tastic and that if you want to talk to your friends and your neighbors and stuff like that's let's all just use the defaults both for fast short and also the channel it's 906 eight seven five so all, I mean, a hair away from just being 907 you're gonna call me you're gonna hear me call it 906 a lot um so that's what we're gonna do today i've got one of the stock um antennas that come with the a lot of the kits out there or kits that don't have antennas a lot of folks are just buying these cool little stubby guys and they happen to be set for you know often higher in the band um or they're just they're maybe for a different country that you weren't um, buying them from or it also could just be that the factory when they when they are uh assembling these things they're just coiling that wire around a shaft and then snipping it off and they're probably just snipping it off based on you know like a, a pencil mark somewhere or a sharpie marker somewhere or the the thing that comes in and cuts it is supposed to be cutting it at some um, measured length but in in my testing for 906 i've had to add a length of wire to that antenna to make it resonant and that resonance changes when we put on the uh the plastic you see it's shifted way over if i take it off it comes back within frame. And I can see that it's moving to the left. Now, the reason that's happening is because this, to make this black, it is uh, doped with what, you know, was uh, like a ferrous material. You know, there's some actual, I mean, not explicit conductance, but uh, to get this black, this is not transparent to RF. And so that's what we're dealing with this. It's not a problem. Uh, we just have to account for it in our measurements here. Let me snip at this thing and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up. All right, that's good enough for the girls I go out with. Uh, the We're resonant probably closer to 908. Of course, it moves around. Just there's, you know, there's things going on in this room. So 910 or so. Uh, there's 907, and we're at 1.12. So 1.1 SWR. And that's way better than where it was before. It, it, was, it was almost like unusable uh, before we tuned it. And the only bit of... Uh, I almost could have got away with like a little dab of solder might have also brought it really close to being resonant. It didn't need much to bring it in. It's a it's a pretty short length of wire that we soldered on top of that. Remember, you can't stretch it out. That thing's already coiled up and loaded to a specific length. Uh, the length is still accounted for, even though it's going around in a circle, grabbing it, stretching it's not, it might change it some, but it's not gonna dramatically change where it's resonant. You need to solder on a little length of it, uh, especially, you know, or, or maybe you don't. Your Yours might be, yeah, I'm trying to convince myself here. <laughs> your frequency, when you look at it on your, uh, your nano VNA here, it fits lower meaning to the left here on our spectrum, snipping it off, making it shorter, will move that frequency of where it's resonant, will move it to the right and move it up in, in uh, the, uh, the actual frequency megahertz. So it might be that you got one that was tuned for uh, the EU and it's near the, you know, 800 and some odd, and you want to walk it this way. It's it's done by just snipping off little bits. So that might actually, you know, you, you luck out there. You're not going to break out the soldering iron. So if you're in the States, tune this thing for 906. You will get some of the best results. At this point, I'm getting like 10 miles with these little dongles uh, here. We've got trees and woods and all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's I'm, I'm looking for some areas where we're a little bit higher up, and I'll keep experimenting and keep you guys posted. Thanks for following along for another quick installment of Julian's Random Projects. If you want 
to play along at home, there's a bunch of shill links down in the description, so feel free to uh, click on those. And join us next time as we uh, experiment more with this and see if we can get uh, some super long distances. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough, over and out, over and out, over and out.